Welcome to the hottest movie review on the internet today, the A-List Review. I am your host, Wes Troop, here with another review. Today I have a film that came out last year, around this time actually, last November. Um, I just saw it recently on Skinamax, so I'm going to review it for you. It is Ninja <laughs> Assassin. So, let's uh, talk about the plot, shall we? A young ninja named Rizo, God, I hope I'm saying that right, uh, played by newcomer to American theater, I suppose, uh, Rain, interesting name, uh, he turns his back on the Azunu clan, a clan of lethal killer ninjas who raised him. Sounds like a good family. Good family atmosphere there. I'm sure they had family dinner time and game night a few times a week at least in that, you know, whatever. <laughs> so the ninjas seek out to find Rizo before he finds them. Ho, ho, ho. Oh, boy. <laughs> Whoa, girl. So uh, the, some of the other cast includes Naomi Harris, played by... Uh, should play by. She plays Mika Coretti. Ben Miles plays Ryan Maslow. They are Interpol, um, Europe's uh, police officers, like a secret agent type thing. Uh, Rick Yoon plays Takashi. Take I think that's right. Who one of the bad boy assassins? And Sho Kozaji plays Lord Azuno. So, uh, <laughs> anyway, I thought it was a good a ninja flick, and you know, it has some good action, it has some great uh, special effects and gore. It was really cool to see some of the gore, I was like, I rewound some of it to see it again, I'm like, yeah, that is awesome! So if you're a fan of ninja gore, definitely check this movie out. Um, <laughs> the fight scenes were are good, and uh, you know... They kept me interested in the movie. I was like, oh, cool, here comes another fight scene, you know. Uh, it, you know, it's not, the dialogue is not um, Gone with the Wind or, <laughs> you know, anything like that. It's not going to win, win any Oscars, which it didn't, obviously. Um, but uh, it's not one of those movies. You know, you go to see a movie called Ninja Assassin to see frickin' people's heads fly off. You don't go to see, well, now, let, did they use a contraction here? Did they? <laughs> you don't go to review the dialogue, in other words. Which, uh, it had much better dialogue, by the way, than uh, <laughs> The Last Airbender, so suck on that. <laughs> I thought Rain, for his at least first American starring role, um, I thought he did a good job. Um, he played an interesting character, you know, it, that's what helped keep you interested in the film, and um, I think he should benefit from this role. Um, even though some of the critics slammed it and said it sucked, but... Um, you know, those are the critics that are, well, it's not the blind side. Oh, you know, it's, or, or they, they're, oh my God, a head just rolled past me. Oh, snobs. <laughs> but, uh, you know, you go to see, like I said before, you go to see a ninja assassin movie. You go, you go to see gore. You go to see blood. You go to see action, you know. So that's what I don't get sometimes. You have to grade it for what it is. And that's what I'm doing. I'm reviewing it for what it is, a ninja movie with blood, guts, and gore. Which is, if, and if it wasn't, I probably wouldn't watch it, so, <laughs> so there you go, you know. Um, but I do, I do agree that it lacked some things. It could have been better, you know. It's not the best movie ever. <laughs> but I thought it was a good, fun action movie, you know. You go to the theater to have a good time. Uh, you know, pop some popcorn, you know, to hang out with your buds, whatever. Um, so, you know, that's what it, 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 you know, that's what it did. It, it was a good, fun ride. I say that a lot on here, and I'm going to try to stop saying that, but whatever. So, therefore, the A-list gives the film Ninja <laughs> Assassin <laughs> the rating of Do It. If you're a fan of the Ninja movies, I'd definitely tell you to check it out. If you're a fan of Blood, Guts, and Gore, check it out. Girls, <laughs> sorry, you may not be interested in this film, but whatever. So, till the next review, which will be tomorrow, for Anticipation Friday. And it will be a Wes's fave pick, by the way. Chilling two birds with one stone, baby. So, till tomorrow, troop.